Thank you, some members. The gentleman may proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. While none of us can understand the bravery and fear that was going through the minds and seen in the acts of those who perished during the terrible attacks on September 11th, 10 years ago, what we can do is we can observe and understand the lessons that they gave us and what happened subsequent to those events, especially in some of our areas like mine where the attacks actually hit home. I, of course, represent Somerset County that encompasses Shanksville. My home is about four miles from the crash site. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about what happened that day in Somerset County. And I think that everyone who perished on that day would be proud of the people of Pennsylvania and what they did subsequent to that attack. If I take you back 10 years, I think all of us can remember the confusion of that morning. No one really knew what was happening. We had, at least in Berlin or Somerset, had watched the attacks on the towers in New York, were confused about what was happening. And then suddenly the earth shook, literally for us, and Flight 93 crashed into an old abandoned strip job in Somerset County. We thought the sky was falling. No one knew what was going on, but we knew, and we were damn sure, going to hold the line against whatever it was. After it happened, everyone got their children out of school, and they got in their trucks, their SUVs, their cars, the salt of the earth, the frosty sons of thunder, as my predecessor, Alexander Ogle, said we were in 1820 in Somerset County. We took to the trucks, we had our rifles. Some people don't like that, but we had them. Because we knew that we would hold the line at Dividing Ridge, if nowhere else, because as far as we were concerned, we were under attack. Turned out we were right. That day, we didn't have to hold the line against anyone in particular, but afterwards, every National Guardsman or civilian in Pennsylvania found a way to hold the line in their own way. And that's something that I think that we can all be proud of. We can all know that whenever push comes to shove, we will shove back. And we did. And their, their lives were not lost in vain, tragic as it may be. And I think that the testament that we're here 10, days, or 10 years later, still thinking about, still understanding, and still remembering, is a great sign for America and I know that we will succeed against any adversary, no matter how great. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker, thanks, the gentleman.